There we go. That's for all your energy innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G dot com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are staring at that twerk stein. Hooning is not a crime. The grip rail wheel there. I uh, wish it was an NRG Innovations wheel, but you know, uh, Hurt runs grip rail. Can't you know? Can't knock him. I prefer NRG myself, but grip rail is definitely a good company as well. Um, some people may disagree. Some people say you know NRG isn't as good as Grip Royale, but you know it's personal preference on wheel. So we are here today because a big update came out in Forza Motorsports 7. One of which, the reason we're staring at this Torx styling is because the Hoonigan Car Pack is now available to everybody to download, purchase, or if you have a car pack, it's free for you. Because um, if you guys downloaded the Ultimate Edition and pre-ordered it, you guys got the Hoonigan Car Pack. I personally, when I pre-ordered my Ultimate Edition, got it from the store because I wanted the limited edition metal cased disc set. So I wanted to get that instead of um, just a digital download. I wanted the hard copy. I wanted the metal case with the Porsche on the cover. So that didn't come with the Hoonigan pack. So I was kind of really upset about that. I did get the Fast Furious pack, which everybody did. But unfortunately, I didn't get the Hoonigan pack. So now the fact that I have my car pack pass and the Hoonigan cars are in my garage now for free. Definitely super excited. Definitely going to be ripping this Torx Stallion here for today and getting it sideways and see what we can do with it. We'll probably mess around with the other Hoonigan cars. I know, you know, there's a lot of Hoonigan videos out there and stuff like that with the Hoonigan pack, but I just got it today because it wasn't available for me because I wanted a disc. So it was kind of, I got a disc, but I didn't get the Hoonigan pack. So but the other reason we are here today is for another feature that got implemented here in Forza Motorsports 7 that I am super excited about and other sim racers or sim drifters will be excited about as well. And that is under HUD, this option right here, the data out. So Forza Motorsports 7 on the Xbox One now has the ability to run data out to a external device such as a tablet to have gauges and clusters so that we can now use an external HUD or dash cluster customizable and not use the one on the screen. So today we are going to be messing with the data out feature. Um, so we're going to switch right here to this camera view. It's a zoomed in camera view. You can see my Logitech G920 with my energy innovations wheel buttons on the side. You can see my Elgato screen over there recording uh, and my other screen here because I do have a triple screen set up. I have two different computers running, my Mac, my normal computer, and the gaming. So, but we are going to be running right here. As you can see, I have my tablet on the side for today. We're gonna to be running it here, but I will be putting it closer to uh, behind my dash when we get into it. So I did download this app right here. It is called Sim Dashboard. Uh, I did get the um, pro version. I believe it's like $12.99 or whatever. As you can see, you have the ability to uh, have different uh, gauges and stuff like that. It's all customizable, which is really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and open our app. I already have some pre-made, as you can see, I already have this, I have a couple clusters pre-made into the game. So we're gonna be messing with these. This one's got the Evil Rabbit 07 on the side. So for start, we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna put this right here, make sure that you guys can actually see that cluster. So the biggest thing that you have to do for the data out feature to work is you have to go into the game going to minimize this a little bit you got to go into the game right here and you have to go into the actual app under settings and you have to go to no not that one you have to go to this button right here we're going to switch it up where it says for the upc configuration the app helps you out it explains to you on the app what you need to type in for your ip address and your port number it's very simple to do you basically implement that. I'm gonna make sure that stays because uh, I wouldn't want that to fall. So you basically implement that into here, make it match, and your data output will work. So you gotta make, as long as it's on top of the screen, it says running on the app, you're good to go. You are running and everything is working correctly how it should. So today we're gonna be running the closer camera, trying to get that 
so you guys can see that. I have this one set up with RPM sweep, um, miles per hour, shift lights, G-force, and the actual screen flashes at high RPMs as well. So we're gonna hop into some free play with this Twerk Stallion and uh, three laps Maple Valley. Sure, why not? Let's just do it. So, like I said, I'm super excited for this data out feature to be implemented in this game. It's been on a set and stuff for the PC, but it's now here in the Xbox One. So, if you have an Xbox One and you have a tablet, go to the Google Play Store and download that Sim um, Sim dashboard. It's definitely a very good, fully customizable. You can put widgets and everything and however thing you want on it. So, we're gonna test it right now. Test it today. So we got that. We got our tablet set up. We got our torch stallion ready to go. So it should it should just automatically queue in once the data stream starts going, once the race is on. Then again, maybe I have to actually, oh, there it goes. So we are active, as you can see. We have RPMs going, we have a sweep going. And we have my cluster going red at RPMs. Nope. You can also adjust when the shift lights come on and stuff. So we're gonna use this one first. And you see the other ones as well, they also work. The data lights on that one are not exact. We just have a single tack. Now, I believe if I go into this and edit this, I will be able to get the shift light, which is up here. Edit the shift light. And we're going to set that for 80%. Hit OK. Check mark that. And then, well, no, no, don't delete page. Check mark it as done. Go full screen again. And now we just have a shift, we have a red shift light at high RPM. Super simple. And then we have this one as well, which is a sweep. And it goes, as you can see, the screen flashes when I get to full RPM. So I think we're going to run with this one for right now. It's a little bit easier for you guys to see. So, but the one thing that Data Out does not have is it does not have gearing in for Forza Motorsport 7 so data's out does not implement everything yet I'm assuming there will be more to come but as you can see it's working perfectly fine I don't need the dash on the screen unless I want to because I don't even know like I have a shifter so I can tell what gear I'm in so we're just going to rip this torque stallion we're going to send it in and uh, see how this goes and this is a bone stock torque stallion just off the market as you can see the data out is working perfectly well. There's really no lag in it whatsoever, which is what I was worried about. There's no lag when it comes to the RPM band or anything on those lines. So it's actually really awesome to see this and uh, have this. So a lot of sim racers will definitely enjoy this. And this work stallion is uh, definitely getting it. It's uh, really sweet to have this. So we're just having a little fun here testing out this data out feature that is now in Xbox One's Forza Motorsport 7. Whoa. I think we just pulled a hurt. <laughs> we just pulled a hurt. So the wheel cam is a lot closer this time um, than normal. Normally I have it for the back so you can see the handbrake and stuff, but for today's aspect we are running it so you guys can see the uh, tablet screen a lot better. I do like all I see is this like teal flash when I'm at <laughs> when I'm at red line. So if you guys do have a tablet and do have Ford Motorsport Ford 7 on the Xbox One, and you have the ability to have a wheel set up, oh. see, I've been on Forza Horizon 3 for too long. I'm uh screwing up my time here but like I said these apps are fully customizable it's really awesome this is not a paid you know paid episode by you know sim dashboard by any means that'd be pretty sweet though you know sim dashboard say yo hey do a video about our dashboard you know for the new data out system you know that'd be so sweet but you know no this is not I'm just it's the app that I that I know is a very good app because it handles other games on PC such as like a set of course stuff but it also handles like dirt and stuff like that in the uh Xbox community, so it's really cool that Forza, you know, More Sports 7 decided to do and set the data out feature. Hopefully, they'll have more stuff coming as well, so you can have like your gear selection and stuff like that. So, 
you can see your gear on that rather than you know having to memorize where you are but since i have a shifter it's really not that big of a deal for me and this tor torque stallion is just it's just getting it my draft my <laughs> drafting my drifting is pretty lax right now because i've been you know you know all on the forza horizon 3 but we're definitely gonna see if we can uh get this nasty oh wrong button get a nasty lap here we'll uh, go a little bit first person the animal style pizza slice wins window try to stay there we go I mean I feel like I shouldn't have a cluster because I don't think there's actually a cluster on the inside of this car but uh Hertz car is definitely a lot of fun the grip royale in front of me though is definitely contradicting my NRG There we go. That's a lot better until we hit the grass. <laughs> I wish he would go and pull the handbrake, but you know, maybe it does it in the uh, Unicorn, because I think it does it in the Unicorn in the uh, Bryson 3, but I'm not entirely sure. See, me not having a gear is not really bothering me because of the fact that I know what gear I'm in because I run a shifter. Now, if you were in sequential, or running paddles not knowing what gear you were in would be kind of a, a different thing so I may take the HUD off of my game and just run it on my app because it'd be a lot more fun and a lot cooler to mount this right behind my wheel and uh, just you know have it as a dashboard and you know do that definitely having a lot of fun in this twerk stallion gonna have to play around with other cars in the Hoonigan pack because like I said I didn't have it when the game came out so I haven't had a chance to drive any of them this car feels so so good it's got a lot of steering angle and I think they brought the steering angle in the car to the game and there's a lot more steering angle than a lot of the other cars so definitely gonna probably take that Hoonicorn on Dubai and do a full Dubai run in that Hoonicorn I think we're going to finish this last lap off here in this Twerk Stallion though and see if we can't make something of this. Except for that. We're going to we're going to rewind that. You didn't see that. <laughs> we're just going to back it up real quick and uh, back it up further. So, the data out is definitely very cool. It's uh it's not laggy at all, which is nice. I was worried that it was going to be laggy. Um, but it doesn't lag at all. Uh, like I said, I do have the pro version, so I can have multiple widgets on there. I think the non-pro, you can only have three widgets, so you can only have three things going on at once. But I have decided, you know, 1299, not a big deal for the pro version. And that gives you access to a lot more games and such like that. So definitely a sweet thing to come here into the Forza Motorsports game. Uh, definitely going to be using this a lot more. Uh, gonna get it mounted up behind my uh, steering wheel so that we can uh, have it where it actually should be. I was trying to get just a tap, but that tap was way more than just a tap. I don't think we'll be able to save it. We're gonna try it. Nope, I did the same thing. So we're gonna have to back up and back up right there. That's good. That'll work. And it, it's, it works really well on Rewind, so the data out is not laggy at all. So a big thing to hit for the 7. So if you guys are sim drivers and you have a setup and you wanted to use this data out feature, just download Sim Dashboard on the Google Play Store. I haven't found an app for like iPhones or anything yet that I really like, so I will definitely probably look into that here in the near future, but because I have this extra tablet, I'll probably be using Sim Dashboard because I can also make and there's a bunch of free sets on there so I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode about the data out feature definitely going to be updating my wheel setup with that as well probably modifying the wheel camera so that it can be seen so as you guys know you guys can follow me on Facebook Twitch Twitter and Instagram make sure you guys check out my Instagram for 
a lot of updates for the channel as well as the competition on Forza Horizon 3, the EVL Drift Invitationals. I will be posting stuff about that on Instagram as well. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you tap and subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support. If you want the videos right as they come out, make sure you uh, tap that bell for post notifications. So you guys can be one of the first people to see the videos when I post them and or be one of the first people to get into one of my open lobbies and such when I go live on the channel. So until next time, guys, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.